Okay, in this next tutorial, we're going to use the seventh note of each chord uh, and incorporate it into our melody. So to get started, what I'm going to do is just insert a new MIDI track below the chord track, and I'm gonna turn the last melody that we made off so it doesn't interfere. And I'm just going to copy and paste the uh, chords down from the original lesson one, the original chord progression that we had. And what I'm gonna do just to kind of demonstrate this next section is I'm just going to move all of these chords into root position so you can have a look at how they sit with their first, third, and fifth interval on top of each other. So, for example, if we're gonna add a seventh, uh, the seventh note to the chord, uh, if we've got a C minor seven or a C minor chord, sorry, we wanna, we wanna make it a C minor seven, we'll have to add the B flat to the top, okay? So the B flat is a minor seventh interval uh, from the C. Now we've got an A flat, if we wanna make it an A flat major chord, we wanna add the G on the top, if we've got an F minor chord here, we want to make it an F minor 7, so we add the E flat. And if we've got a B flat major, uh, we want to make it a B flat major 7 by adding the A on top of that. Now, I'm going to just drag a box around those and turn the notes off so we can just use them as a reference. I'm going to set the grid to 16th notes so we can create another syncopated pattern like we did in the last tutorial. But this time we're going to incorporate some of the 7th notes, which appear as the highlighted ones here, into our melody. Now we're not gonna go overboard with them. We're not gonna base all our melody on these notes. We're just gonna add them uh, randomly uh, to create a little bit of flavor. So let's go ahead and create a melody for this uh, first one. I might just move these all down an octave. So press shift down to move notes up and down an octave, but just move them down so I can actually have a bit more space uh, with these notes away from the chords. Okay, now I'm going to click in a few different notes and incorporate the seventh note along with the rest of the chord notes to create a, a little bit more of an interesting melody. So I'm gonna use the C to start off with. Then I'm gonna come down to the seventh note here. Uh, I'll come up to the E flat of the chord, back down to the C, and to finish it off, I'll come up to the G and just use a crotchet for this bar. Let's have a listen to the first bit of the melody here. So here we've just got the seventh note, the B flat, to kind of create a bit more interest in the melody, so we're not just using the same three chord notes each time. Okay, uh, let's try again. So we'll start with an A flat, because that is the uh, tonic uh, note of this chord down here. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the G, then I might uh, come down to the E flat. Okay, and then the C, and then back to the E flat here as a crotchet to finish off. Let's have a listen. So here we've got the G, which is the seventh note of the chord. Now, I think that's enough for this melody. Now, your melodies, you might be able to incorporate more seventh notes, but I'm just going to use chord notes for the rest of it, because I don't want to go overboard. If you use too many of the seventh note, it becomes to sound a little bit, and it doesn't work with the harmony as well, so you want to actually start using notes that kind of revolve around the tonic of those notes. So let's uh, go down just using more chord notes from the F minor chord here. Uh, I'll come up to the C. And then I will go with the A flat again. And then the last note, I'm just gonna use the B flat major chord and come down to the F, whoops. Use a couple repeated notes here. Come back down to the F. All right, let's have a listen to this melody here which incorporates the B flat of the C minor seven chord and the G of the A flat major seven chord. Cool, as you can see, those seventh notes um, of each chord, just those two there, not going overboard, not using heaps of them, but just do enough to add a little bit more flavor to our melody. So you can try to incorporate some of those notes into your uh, melody.